All right, Monday, November 22nd, it is, uh, we're kicking off Thanksgiving Day week, and guess what? I am thankful for two Tours ad reads today. I'll tell you why. All right, we'll get to that two Tours ad read in just a second. However, uh, this is a review of Quantum Week Live. I'm calling it Quantum Week Live, the experience. Uh, I got an experience because I listened to Quantum Week Live for the first time on Saturday night. So uh, I've seen their social media clips and stuff like that. So I got a vibe of what Quantum Week was like. But so Chris, Matt had their live show on Saturday night. Uh, if you listen, obviously, to KMS, Kirk had mentioned months ago uh, that he was planning to attend this, and then it was kind of up in the air. Obviously, he goes on his leave. I don't think anyone was expecting him uh, to go to this show. Uh, it turned out he came, and he went, and he brought me, and he brought Harrison along with him for the ride, which is almost crazier than going to the actual show, telling Harrison and I to go uh, and be alongside him. is an insane move by him. Uh, however, uh, he went. It was awesome that he did. Uh, got dinner with him before and Harrison before. Uh, lovely time, talked about the case, talked about the Wilbur. You can speculate all you want, whatever else we talked about. I got a lime thrown at me, fuck that guy. Uh, it was one of those classic situations where I wouldn't say the five people were all like hammered drunk, but they were definitely tipsy in advance of doing something uh, and just annoying. Like apologize once and move on. It didn't really hit me. Uh, maybe Kirk and Har Harrison in the comments, leave a comment or something or, or tweet me. Uh, it was, it was kind of awkward, but wasn't, and it was like, they just kept talking, and I kept saying it's okay, and I don't know, just shut up. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, so we did that before, then we went to the show. Showed up a little early to the show. I thought we should have just like walked in right at 7.30, but we walked in uh, before, uh, tried to see Matt and Chris before the show. Just say hi, wish them well, uh, and we ended up doing so. I thought the backstage was actually behind the stage, turns out, it was on the other side, uh, in a mini theater room, and they were kind of gearing up, it was just them two uh, in a small theater, kind of gearing up for the show, just asking them if they had anything in store, and they didn't give anything up to us, but either way, uh, it was good to see them before the show. So, all right, let's get into the show, the real review, Quantum Week Live, the experience. Uh, kicks off, and Matt does a, basically a parody song, was it 1979 Smashing Pumpkins? Leave that in the comments if you don't mind. Uh, it was Smashing Pumpkins, regardless, but it was a great idea to kick off the show. Just Matt, you knew he was bringing his guitar to sing a song, and it was a good idea. Got the crowd going a little bit. It was funny. Uh, made a couple Jerry comments in there, too. So I like it. That's a good way to kick off the show. I'm not, I wouldn't dog that in any way. Uh, and I think, like, as fans and as, you know, knowing Kirk and KMS and this world that's been created, you kind of expect something different of everybody now when really... It's not a big deal to just sell tickets and do a live podcast show, but I thought him doing a live performance added a little bit more. Um, you know, not that my opinion matters, but whatever. It was a good kick off the show. I enjoyed it. I laughed a little bit. I think I saw everybody else in the crowd laugh a little bit, so it was good. Uh, then they go in the movie. I've never, I've never seen Fargo, but to be honest, like people were actually paying attention to what these guys were talking about, so maybe I should see Fargo. Um, but it, you know, I don't know. I just sat there. I didn't. I don't know. I played on my phone a little bit because I've never seen the movie. What the hell else am I gonna do? But. They seem to have a good time with it. Chemistry between the two and a live atmosphere was good. Uh, this is coming from somebody who's never listened to the show before. So I don't know. I, I thought it was good. I don't think there was any hiccups during the actual show talking about the movie or talking about the song. I don't at all. Uh, best part for me was the integrate. I, I assume they're playing the podcast. Like the, the show will go on the feed. I don't know if it's for Patreon only. Go subscribe to them if you're not. Uh, I assume they're putting that on a feed somewhere because they did a two tours ad read. Just fantastic move by Chris. Brought goodies with him, did a giveaway. A brand new car! Call it in, boy. Uh, I think it was a, vape, a couple vape pens that he like threw into the crowd. Fantastic move, the guy's just like giving away, I assume it's like, can is it recreational cannabis? I don't know, I don't know anything about that shit, but uh, fantastic move, awkward scale out of like a one to 10, it was probably in that moment. It was probably, if it was like awkward, if it was a six for me, it had to be like an eight and a half for him. Uh, so it was pretty awkward. So I enjoyed that moment very much. Um, but whatever, I don't know. It's probably not awkward for him. He had fun with it either way. He also did uh, one of his brackets. Uh, got the fans and got the, like, the crowd involved in the game. So I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. From a live show experience, uh, they didn't fight at all. So that was a disappointment. But I'm going to give that I'm gonna give that a solid eight and a half. Solid eight and a half, especially for the fact that they just did their show. As somebody's walking in here. They just did their show. So... I don't know. I enjoyed myself. And I didn't even know the fucking movie. I mean, you know, I knew the Smashing Pumpkins song. Uh, a little harsh on that, Carano was. Uh, and he did this thing with his hands that was fantastic. If I have the video, I'll do it. I missed it in the moment, but it was fantastic. And I started laughing at him 
as that was going on. So. And it's Tuesday. What they did is they took the Tuesday. But I'm going to give it an eight and a half. I don't know if I said eight earlier. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Quantum Week Live, the experience. Uh, leave your comments if you were there down below. Uh, and we'll see. I don't know. I just figured we'll update you on how that was because I know a lot of people didn't get a chance to go. Uh, and that's that. So we'll see you soon.